So what I have for you today is a three-part series about where I'm at in 2024 uh, with regards to three different uh, things. One is the fish and the fish that were added in 2024, an update on the new additions to the fish room. Part two will be about the equipment, anything new that was added to the aquariums or to the filtration for 2024. We'll go ahead and do an update on that and see how how those things are doing and, and if they were good moves or not. And in the final video, we'll talk about what the uh, what the plans are for the rest of the year, what's what's on the, uh, the hope to do list, the bucket list, whatever you want to call it, for the remainder of 2024. So let's start off with uh, today's part one, which is getting into the fish. And we'll start off with, I've got, I've got a list, you know, me and notes. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and start by talking about uh, some fish that were added called uh, Blue Congo Tetras. Now, these fish were, were acquired from uh, Cunningham Tropicals. My friend Josh, Josh Cunningham over there sent me uh, some uh, beautiful fish. And I actually did a video on them and how they bounced back from some of the stress that they experienced uh, during the trip here. But, but they all bounced back. They're all thriving. They're all looking great. A little bit hard to film sometimes because uh, they can hang out near the very back of the tank. But uh, boy, oh boy, when they do uh, get on camera and are in focus, they are just beautiful from the shape of the fins to the colors in the body. I believe I have about four males in here and four females. I was a little bit concerned that the uh, Buenos Aires Tetras would be nipping away at their fins. But I don't really see any real damage. And uh, so uh, the Buenos Aires Tetras are still in this aquarium. And they might, the Buenos Aires Tetras might be rehomed. We'll just see how, how, that, how that kind of uh, develops as I go along. But very happy with these uh, fish. Love the look of these fish. And also in the same aquarium uh, from, from uh, Dan's fish, I have uh, albino acaras, and these albino acaras are just uh, blossoming into beautiful specimens. You can start to see a little bit of blue on the, on the edges of the tail and the, and the fins, and they're starting to get those red uh, thread fin trailers that are, are just so stunning. And again, some concern about those being nipped by the Buenos Aires tetras, but I don't really see much of that going on. So. Uh, these uh, albino okaras, really just the, the albino version of the AC Hecali that I also have in this tank. But they, uh, they're, there's five of them in here, and they're just doing great. Not sure if I'll end up keeping all five. We'll see what the aggression level is like, and uh, if any of them pair up, or if I start getting some breeding going. We'll see. We'll see where these end up. But I'm very excited about, about how, they're, how they're coming along. Uh, going over to the uh, to a 29 gallon quarantine tank, I have some recent community tanks, community tank fish that I acquired, and they're still in quarantine. I recently got them through uh, a bout of ick. They all look clean and healthy now, and they'll be in this quarantine tank for about another 30 days, and then they'll be put into the uh, 55 gallon planted aquarium. Now I'm not really sure if I'll move them there now or if I'll wait until uh, I've, I've swapped those tanks out for some new tanks that I'm gonna be getting from, uh, from my friends over at Glass Cages in Dixon, Tennessee. But in that tank, you, you'll see uh, rasboras, uh, 24 karat, um, these uh, minnows, and uh, some rummy nose, some neon tetras, and uh, just a nice assortment of community fish that will be a nice complement to that 55 gallon planted aquarium. Now going over to the uh, 300 gallon, what we have in there is uh, uh, our four fish that were recently acquired again from Josh over at Cunningham Tropicals, who's I consider a sponsor of the channel. And Josh provided me with a, a beautiful, a beautiful fire hap. And you, you can see the, uh, the two tone the orangey red and black on the anal fin. It's just a spectacular fish, a beautiful shade of blue on the body and, uh, and holding his own and not being overly aggressive. I was afraid he might be attacking uh, other protomelos in the aquarium or just being overly aggressive in general, but he's turned out to be uh, pretty mellow, 
perhaps because of the size of the tank and the much larger tank mates, they're, they're keeping him in check. There is also another protomelis in here from Josh, which is the Red Empress, another uh, spectacular fish, beautiful coloration on the body of that fish. And uh, the, small for this aquarium, but, but, but holding his own, uh, certainly not being pushed around or intimidated. And as you can see by looking at the body, there's no real damage, fin damage, nip, nip marks or anything like that. So uh, he is, is doing okay. There's also a fish that is normally considered very aggressive that, was, that came in on the same shipment, an eye biter. Uh, crazy looking fish, I love the head and jaw of that fish, the beautiful dorsal fin, and uh, just the markings, uh, you know, the egg spots, just an overall, I think, a very pretty fish. People either love them or hate them. Uh, the name makes you think that they're gonna go and bite everybody's eyes, but I haven't found that to be the case. Uh, this one is uh, just a spectacular specimen, beautiful blue in the body, and uh, just beautiful markings, beautiful dorsal, uh, you know, markings on the on the tip of the dorsal. Just just a, a pretty overall fish. There's also another edition of Bucachromis notatania that came in on the same shipment, and a cousin of that big Rhodesia yellow. I thought those two were going to get into it with each other, but they don't, and uh, and and. and and I've been very happy with how this uh, Bucachromus, Buconono as they're, as they're referred to sometimes, but this Bucachromus notatania is, uh, is like other ones I've had in the past, just an energizer bunny and jumping all around and running all around constantly, sifting and, and moving around the tank, very energetic and a beautiful coloration in the body. And they, they get pretty big, they can get you know, 10, 12 inches, pretty hefty. Uh, like you see with that Rhodesia yellow, just a big hefty fish and uh, very happy with how that fish is looking. Looking forward into the rest of, of, uh, of 2024, I do hope to add an Autopharynx Tetrastigma uh, to the 300 gallon. I'd like to get another Sand Diver. Uh, both of those fish, I just love the color, uh, the patterns, the, the, uh, the behavior, the temperament of those fish the Sand Diver, and the Auto Fairnix Tetrastigma, two of my favorites. And I would like to take another shot at a, uh, at, at a Paratilapia Polini or a Starry Knight. Uh, I've, I've had two in the past that I, that I fell in love with, but for, for different reasons, lost them early on. And I'm hoping to take uh, another shot, another shot at that fish, and hope that this time I can grow them out into just a big, spectacular specimen. So those are uh, some of the plans uh, or fish I hope to add. And of course, uh, as will be uh, discussed in my third installment in this video series, the 2024 plans, I do also hope to add discus fish to the, to the fish room. And uh, I have a provider that, that uh, has been around for a while that I think will provide me with some hardy fish. I'll try and get them uh, it, a decent size. The larger they are, the more chance of surviving. So uh, stay tuned for that. I hope to turn that 90 gallon eventually into a discus fish, into a discus fish tank with a lot of plants, and we'll see where that goes. So stay tuned for that. So that's the update on the um, on the fish that were added uh, in 2024. More to come, of course, and uh, all all of this, of course. Uh, takes time and money, which is generated by your support, by becoming a, a Patreon channel supporter, uh, by subscribing, by by hitting that like button and the bell, and um, all that good stuff. By and all of that helps to support what I do on the channel, and I thank you very much for that backup. All right, so that's it for me, and uh, maybe I'll see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Most Saturdays at 11 a.m. Central Time. Or a great group of fish keepers get together to discuss everything from food to filtration to fish to substrates to lighting and everything else. Now watch for installment number two in this series where I'll be talking about the uh, equipment additions to the fish room in 2024 and how those are coming along. And until then, take care my friends and for my best fish keeping tips, click on this, on this uh, play, playlist up here and if you'd like to subscribe, hit me in the mug right there. Thank you, my friends. You are the best. You rock. I will see you again soon. That's it for me. Bye-bye.